lab number 18. And this lab will install mobile first platform 71 command line interface. To do that, let's firstly open the browser and look for mobile first platform getting started page. So we need a getting started page for version 71. And from there, we need to click on the link get the developer edition. Now we need to fill uh, information acquired by IBM. And after clicking on submit button, uh, you will be able to go to download links page. And I will go directly there right now. In this specific lab, we'll focus on command line interface installation. So let's click on learn more under command line interface. And we will select version for uh, command line interface for version 7.1. So basically to start downloading, it depends on your network speed, how much time it will take. Um, I will skip this time till it will download and we will continue from there. So my download finished and now I can navigate to this location and extract the file here. Basically inside this folder that uh, was just created uh, by unpacking uh, the archive, uh, we will find four things. So we will find the application for Mac, we will find the um, binary uh, for Linux and bin file uh, that we will need to execute. And we will also find installation for Windows together with resources folder. So basically we need to execute this uh, install Linux bin. Let's do it by opening the terminal, I'm going to uh, this folder and just folder downloads and then our mobile first platform. And under sudo user, let's uh, do an installation of uh, our mobile first platform. It will look like this. We just need to um, just need to execute the bin file Installation is pretty simple. First of all, we need to click next, then read the license, of course, accept it, and uh, says locate the folder where we would like to install this um, command line interface. I will just leave the default one and proceed with installation. That's it. So now we can close the terminal, uh, clear the downloads folder by removing the files, moving them to trash, of course, and then empty the trash. And now we can either restart the machine or simply do a log out and then log in back. So let's do this thing. Yes, so now we are back and we can open a terminal and check if we installed mobile first platform command line interface 7.1 successfully. For that, let's do the following. Let's type mfp minus version. And yes, as you can see, the current version that is installed is 7.1. So we did it. Uh, and basically on this step, our lab 1.8 is finished. Thank you.